Hello there, Dr. Mintz. This is a good case. I'll tell you what I like about this case. You don't have to see a lot of detail. You can figure out what it probably is. And just take a look at it now. I'm purposely showing it to you in a video like this, showing you it the rapid axial series. What do we have here? There's a big mass of some sort in the pelvis, right? Okay, I'll take you through it here a little bit more. I wouldn't even have the full extent of the exam. You have this mass, huge mass in the pelvis. We'll go down from here. Here you see rectum, iliopsoas muscle, iliacus muscle with psoas. Still in a huge amount of mass here. Here's the bladder, rectum. All right, so now let's go up. Bladder, rectum, and as you get out of the, as soon as you get out of the bladder, you come into this huge mass, fills almost the entire pelvis, and actually goes well up into the stomach or into the abdomen, as you can tell here. This is an older woman with a huge pelvic mass. The most likely thing, do you know, is going to be an enlarged fibroid uterus. These can be huge. We very often see patients with enlarged uteruses that are a little bit large, heterogeneous, maybe with a mass that we can identify hanging off one side or another. Sometimes they're quite a bit bigger than that. And this is probably the largest one I've ever seen. It's huge. My point here is that could it be something else? Yeah, could it be a lymphoma? Unlikely. Could it be an ovarian tumor? Possibly. They're usually more complex and cystic, but just Statistically, if you have an older woman and, or even, you know, middle aged to older and a huge solid mass in the pelvis, the far and away the most likely thing is going to be an enlarged fibroid uterus. So look at it and say, could this be the uterus? That be the, should be the first thought you have. And looking here, you have bladder. And this would be where the cervix would be around there and the rectum. So then if you follow that up, remember that the uterus normally folds over the top of the bladder. So if you go up and get out of the bladder and you see that the whole mass is just tilted forward, superior to the uterus, yes, you could look, or superior to the bladder, you could look at sagittal and coronals, which... I don't have good ones of in this particular case, but this is the bottom line. It's it's lobular too, and it's somewhat heterogeneous, lower attenuation here, more solid here. Uh, I haven't seen an ovarian cancer look like this. It's possible, but the bottom line is this is just the practical way to look at this. Huge solid mass in the pelvis of a middle-aged or older woman far and away most likely thing is just going to be garden variety, although huge in this case, uterine fibroid or fibroid uterus.